Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Ashley with Ashley Digital Studios and I'm back with a quick how to date your undated planner in GoodNotes. So let's get into it. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you pick the font, size, and color you wanna use for numbering your planner. Now I'm gonna date my calendar in real time so we're gonna go through the whole process together. So once you have all your settings set, you're gonna go down and you're gonna start numbering your planner. You're gonna date all the dates in January, um, starting with the first. The first is on a Sunday, this is for 2023. And we're gonna number all of the days in the planner. It doesn't matter where you put the number in the box, we're gonna move them later on, so just make sure you get the numbers down one through 31. I will admit, adding the numbers to this first planner is the longest part, but once you get through this, the process will be a lot smoother and faster for the rest of the months. All right, now that we have our planner dated, we're gonna use the lasso tool. Make sure your text boxes is turned on and we're gonna circle each number and move them to the corner where we want them. At this point, I remembered I didn't draw my straight line. So if you turn on your pen tool and you draw a straight line and hold it, the autocorrect will make your line straight. Once you have your straight line, you can use this line to make sure that your numbers are even across your planner. And you can just slide your line down and do each row to get your number straight. All right, so now that we have our numbers in place, you can erase your line, and now we're gonna add this calendar to our elements tool. So the first thing you're gonna do is with the lasso tool, you're gonna circle the whole calendar. 
you're going to hold inside that circle and on the toolbar you're going to select add to element now we're going to create a collection called calendars in our element tool once you have this in your element tool you won't have to date another calendar you can just pull this out of your element tool and add it to your calendar from here on out let me show you what i mean so now we're going to go to february you're going to open your elements tool and take out the calendar collection you just created we're going to put the first on the first and that covered half of our calendar so now we need another calendar sticker and we're going to cover the rest of the planner now all you have to do is go in with your lasso tool and erase the extra days on the side february only has 28 days so we're going to delete the extra days at the bottom and then your month's done now you're going to repeat this same process throughout the months in your planner let's go through them all now
I did good until I got to November and I left the 31st on November. Just make sure you remember November only has 30 days. So now we've done December and if you've purchased my planner, you can use the same sticker to go through the months in your budgeting section. If you find this way of dating your planner as quick and easy as I do, don't forget to hit that like button. Also subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any more videos. All right, y'all till next time.